when we think about creation, often we think about this planet, planet Earth, and, and, and that's most immediate to us. And, and certainly, uh, we really need to, to care for, uh, for God's creation that way. When we also think about creation, you know, uh, the, the recent you know, news on uh, gravitational waves that Dr. Matone was, was associated with, uh, that's part of creation. You know, and, and uh, the things that happen, you know, billions of light years away, uh, that's part of creation. And I, and I think, too, one thing that science allows us to do is, is to uh, really expand the way we think about uh, the world in which we live and, and this universe in which we live. Uh, and it really ought to uh, fill us with a sense of grandeur on the one hand, but also invite us to, uh, to a certain humility. You know, uh, we're, we're tiny little parts of, uh, of, of this vast work of, uh, of creation. And we have a, a hugely important role to play in that. And an awful lot of that comes to us uh, through scientific fields. For, for the physics lab and 3D dance chemistry lab, um, on a purely pragmatic level, everything's going to get up to code. So particularly in the advanced chem lab, you know, electrical conduit gets buried, outlets go GFI, um, new gas lines, so they're all, you know, safety tested in a gas shutoff valve and, and you know, all that good safety infrastructure will be there. Um, physics has no plumbing, has no gas, so we're a little bit less worried about that room overall. But again, electrical up to code, we're going to put data back in there you'll start to see more and more equipment that you'll see in an undergraduate lab or, or an industry facility. And, and that can, can only serve to better inspire our students and give them a greater sense of confidence as they move into you know, the next level of education and say, oh yeah, no, I got this. Let me, let, me, let me struggle with this some more. If we better prepare them, we should see them succeed better you know, as, as they go forward. This is driving you know, our blue sky thinking of what science education should look like at Regis in three years, in five years, in 20 years. I mean, it, it, the content's not gonna change significantly. You know, the, the laws of science, the fundamental ideas of biology, chemistry, physics, hopefully we're not gonna change those things too, too significantly. What they mean for our students on a day-to-day -day basis, how we can best convey those, um, that's constantly part of our, of our of our upgrade, of our conversation, of our, of our planning. Um, that's how science seeks modges. There, there is a certain irony that uh, two of our most well-known uh, alumni in, in science, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Dan O'Keefe, um, uh, and the work they do, uh, they come out of a time here at Regis where uh, the science uh, education was, uh, was fairly minimal. But they, they came out of a, um, you know, out of a curriculum and, and school, you know, uh, deeply committed to, uh, you know, to excellence in education and they were able to build on that. I think now when, when we look at it, you know, uh, one of our desires is that, that to make sure that uh, the future Dr. O'Keefe's and the future uh, Dr. Fauci's, you know, have the resources that uh, they need today.